Uh, I'm with Sarah McKinley. Uh, Sarah's editor of a magazine called Total Politics, which is going to be launching in uh, about a month's time. Yeah. Um, tell us about Total Politics. Um, what kind of a magazine is it? Uh, well, it's a political magazine, broadly a political magazine, intended for the 26,000 politic elected politicians in Britain. So that includes everyone from the local councillor up to MEPs, uh, also peers and MPs, obviously. And uh, it will also be available on newsstands. But there's actually nothing else quite like it about at the minute. Um, we're not going to be the spectator, we're not the new statesman, we're going to be a lot more approachable than that. Um, and um, probably, be fair to say, more fun, more, more light-hearted, um, have a more light-hearted approach um, to the subject of politics. Okay, so it's for people who are working in politics, for want of a better phrase, I suppose. Yeah. Um, elected representatives. It, yeah, elected representatives, and then the people that work for them, and then anyone that wants to become involved in politics or has a desire to become involved in politics, or really anyone that's got more than just a passing interest in the subject. Okay, so then it's going to be news based, is it? Um, I, I'd say more actually feature based okay. than, than news based, because it. Partly because we're a monthly magazine, and um, well, we will have a news element in the magazine, and, and it will be, it will be the, the news will be strong, it will be off diary, um, strong news analysis as okay. well. And so, what would count as what would be the kind of news subjects that uh, that your readers would be interested in? Um, so, we're about, well, the magazine is about the business of politics. So, we're not what, what we're not is. What we're not about is covering policy because actually, you know, there's so much that does that already, um, and obviously the national, you know, the national papers and, and whatever will cover that. But we will cover everything from what's going on in a local, you know, in local councils or, or local council news. Something that will news that will be of interest or, or teach other councillors about what's going on in other people's areas. Okay. Um, so would it be, for instance, about getting elected or staying in office or? Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing, yeah. Um, yeah. And are there, presumably there are things, um, legislation that councils need to be aware of, are they? Or responsibilities of councils? Responsibilities, definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, but less about the policy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is it also about how they interact with the um, um, officers, the paid employees of councils? Because uh, I imagine that they can sometimes feel at a disadvantage in that if they're talking to um, the director of housing, who's a you know a, a highly salaried individual who knows all about housing, and you are the um, um, housing committee chairman, you might feel at a disadvantage. You know, yeah, oh yeah. So in terms of that, we'd be offering practical tips of how to yeah. converse in the aid of those, with that that group of people. Yeah, absolutely. And then. Yeah, I mean, absolutely offering advice and that kind of thing, and but also, you know, we want to we want to have gossip as well. So yeah. There will be an element of gossip to it, um, and uh, the, we're going to have a section on world news as well, because uh, we have regional and international correspondents who, um, all of whom are trained journalists. So they'll be providing us with relevant um, off diary stories from across the world in the regions, mm -hmm. and. And also in um, well, obviously in Scotland, Northern Ireland, and um, at Amherst. Okay.